You're watching a P. Rob Media production. What's up, Diabetes family? It's your boy, Percy Robinson, coming at you with another smash hit video. Now today, we are doing something special for each and every one of you. But before we get into that, if you are new here, I wanna make sure I am the first to say welcome to the diabetes family. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button, and also hit the bell so you know every time my video drops. So now let's get to the video. So like I said, this is a springtime, summertime banger. I have done buffalo cauliflower in the past before but I wanted to tweak it just a little bit. I wanted to turn these buffalo cauliflower wings into tacos. So I took some of my favorite foods and I infused them together. So that's what we're getting today. We are getting buffalo cauliflower tacos. And these tacos are amazing. What you're gonna get with these tacos is just flavors all around. So what I did with the slaw, I mixed the red cabbage with the regular green cabbage and then I sprinkled some cilantro on top, mixed in with the buffalo cauliflower and then my secret sauce that you will find out in the video. So make sure you guys watch it till the end so you can get all full instructions. I would like to sit here and talk and just chill with you guys for a minute, but we got to get to the video. So let's get cooking. So with all that being said, I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride, and I'll see you on the other side. Holla at ya, boy. Roll the intro. Okay, Diabetes family, welcome back to another edition of Diabetes Kitchen. So as you see, we broke up our head of cauliflower and we're not gonna do it like we did in previous videos. We're going to make smaller pieces because we're going to be doing tacos and putting these inside tacos. So we're gonna make smaller florets just like this. And we're gonna add them to the colander. Now I have done buffalo cauliflower so many times and I've done it two times on these videos and if you haven't checked them out already I will leave the, the link on top where you can check it out. So I decided to do buffalo cauliflower tacos because I was running out of ideas to to make so I was like you know why not infuse tacos with buffalo sauce. So on this next step, we are going to use spelt flour. We're going to put two cups in the big container and then we're gonna put one cup of spelt flour in the small container. So the big container is going to be for the wet ingredients and the small container is going to be for the dry ingredients. So I, like I said before, I have done this recipe so many times and I feel the best way of doing this is having the wet and dry and double dipping. So with the two cups, we're going to add about a cup and a half of, of almond milk. And then I'm going to use my basil oregano sea salt blend with some chili powder. And these are all the spices that I'm going to use. I'm going to keep it basic because the buffalo sauce is really going to overpower the, the flavor, but you will taste the hint of these seasonings, you know, through each bite. So I'm just keeping the seasonings pretty basic with this one. So now that I have the consistency that I am looking for and I got all the clumps out, I'm going to add just a little bit more because it's not where I want it to be. Now that we have the consistency that we are looking for, we are about to drop our first cauliflower into the wet batter. 
don't use your hands use like some prongs or something um, and then we're going to drop it into the dry ingredients and then we're going to work everything around see I, I have I made the mistake with using my hands so um, and then once we get it really battered up we're going to drop it back into our wet ingredients and do the same step and then we're going to add it to our baking sheet now you can air fry these as well but uh, since I have a large amount I'm going to uh, use the air fryer and the oven so you're going to set the oven for 400 degrees and you're going to cook them for 20 minutes now they may not look like much now but as soon as we put the buffalo sauce on it's going to look amazing you feel me so i'm adding just the buffalo sauce this recipe is really simple to do i think the part that i hate the most is battering up the cauliflower everything else on this recipe is pretty chill like i i can do this all day you know what i'm saying so look at the color look how beautiful those cauliflower bites are going to look but once we are done you know adding the buffalo sauce to the cauliflower we're going to put it back into the oven for 10 minutes on 400 and we're going and basically what that's going to do is it's going to bake the buffalo sauce on top and there you have it this beautiful display of buffalo cauliflower so as that's in the oven i'm going to make my slaw so i am going to take a a regular cabbage and i'm just going to make you know thin slices you know the thinner the better and then i'm going to take a red cabbage and do the same thing and add it to the bowl make sure you guys make make sure you do thin slices it just makes it for an easier bite And really, like once you put this coleslaw, I mean, slaw together, it's just going to really bring the colors out of your of your tacos. And then you're gonna wanna add some apple cider vinegar with some olive oil. You know, not too much. I would say about a fourth of a cup of um, olive oil with a fourth of a cup of um, apple cider vinegar and what that's going to do is just going to soften it up you know and make it for again for an easier bite because cabbage is not the um it has a really rough bite you know when it's by itself and we're going to mix everything around make sure everything is nicely infused and blended together and on to the sauce so i'm using a veganaise i'm doing two tablespoons two big tablespoons of veganaise and i'm using the same basil oregano seasoning and sea salt and i put about two tablespoons maybe three tablespoons of that with two tablespoons of minced garlic now what we're going to do is we want to add about a fourth of a cup of um, almond milk or any type of milk that you have we're going to use our whisk and we are going to make sure everything is nicely blended together and has this nice smooth texture just like this now this is the sauce that we are going to be putting on the tacos this is going to balance out the the heat of the buffalo sauce and then I you know I wasn't I wasn't happy with the way it was looking so I added a little bit more seasoning and I'm letting you guys know this tasted amazing so I'm going to be fancy and I'm going to add it to my little squeeze bottle of course I have my funnel make sure like you have like some type of funnel because it can get messy if you are just trying to dump this into any type of container like this and just like that ladies and gentlemen we are done with that process and since we are done it's about time our buffalo cauliflower should be done and we should be ready to start dressing up our tacos now 
I was cool with this until I started. I was like, you know what? I needed a pop of green. So I hit a little bit of cilantro. Not only did the cilantro make it taste amazing, but it made it look so much better. It gave it that extra pop of color that we're needing. So I know I talk about the visuals, but I'm just a visual guy. But anyways, thank you for taking the time and watching my videos. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for my final thoughts. Welcome back, Diabetes family. Welcome back, baby. Now, wasn't that video amazing? So, you guys already know what time it is. It is the taste test time. And I have been just starving, just watching and making this. And, you know, I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about. Making this tasty treat was just making me so hungry in the process. So I have been just waiting for this moment. So we're gonna go ahead and do the taste test. We're gonna see how your boy did. So let's dig in. Yo, look at that. Look at the colors, the purples with the oranges, with the greens. I mean, this is, like I said before, this is a springtime, summertime banger. So I'll leave all the instructions on how to make this so you guys can make this at your next, I don't know, Taco Tuesday. Be the star of the party. And then you can thank me later. You feel me. But anyways, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get to eating. Hold on. Yo, this tastes so good. I mean, I was kind of skeptical at first blending these two, these two dishes together, but you get the spiciness from, from the, from the buffalo cauliflower. And then I used like the, the vinegar, you know, for the, for the slaw and then all the seasonings that were just in packed. And then the sauce just balances everything out. So it's not as spicy, but it's just right. It gives you just enough heat to satisfy your taste buds. So I'm gonna go ahead and smash on this food real quick. Um, so I'm gonna leave on this note. If you eat good, you live good, and you feel good. And don't forget to tune in, tell a friend, and subscribe. Holla at ya, boy. Peace.